I guess there's many ways of solving. Um, my way is to add the lines, which I do across the site. So just draw two lines down. Now we need to get x on its own, so the thing next to the x is a times 2. And to get x on its own, we need to do the opposite of times 2. So we're going to divide 2 both sides. I'm showing the examiner that I'm doing it both sides. So we're left with x on this side, which is great, it's what we wanted, because solve means to find out what x is, and 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So x equals 2 for that first one. For the next one, we've got y minus 4 equals 4. We're going to get our lines down. Okay, so the bit we want to get rid of is this minus 4 bit. So we're going to do the opposite of that, which is add 4 both sides. So y is 4 plus 4, which is 8. Okay. I thought that was a 2 for a second, but it's a z. Right. So this one's slightly harder. Only if we don't know what over means. Now, over, which is this bit here, so over 3, means divide by 3. So the opposite of divide by 3 is times 3. So we have times 3 both sides. So z equals 4 times 3, which is 12. 